I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Strong one, boy. Let's get you cleaned up.
Been a minute. Sift through, see what you like. All right, then. Better be good. Fine, I'll have it. Is... is that a rootlinger? I don't believe my crusty eyes, friend. Well, you don't do this as a profession, huh? Not bad, this. Hard. How you doing there? Not too bad. You know, there ain't one customer that leaves here grappin', as far as I know, at least. Oh. Ain't this special, huh? You got a decent eye for these things, by the looks of it. No questions asked. Much appreciated. Lighten's my load. Oh, you need something exclusive, huh? Good then. Good then. Yeah, <laughs> you really enjoy that. Don't use it unless you really need it, all right? It's yours, then. Well, that's that. You really can't get this anywhere else. You will love that, I swear. I can't trust you if I can't see your face.
Thanks, partner. <laughs> That's my boy. Good evening, sir. I'm with you in a moment. Hey, partner. Hello. Well, hello again. I got another one. Then. You interested? Do you want this now, then, or no? I assume this isn't just a social call. So, um, what do you think, Arthur? All right, well, come back if you change your mind. Evening. Partner? Way more. Well, look at you. Don't reckon you're gonna remember much of this. So, that's something at least. You slobs. Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. Well, I damn near broke my finger putting a star in the arm last night. For the kids, huh? Again, if you want to buy anything, now is the time. About to close.
just look in here. Specialist gun, this one. Got a nice long barrel and a fast pump action. Hmm. Moving right along. Now, if this ain't a marvel, I don't know what is. Can't quite believe it myself. Oh, well, guess you ain't interested. Nothing quite like a pump action. You keep a clean and oiled, this gun will cycle shells better than any of them. I have one myself. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. Terrible thing what happened to the parlor house. No surprise the Braithwaites were behind it. Mister? Okay, that's enough now. <laughs> Wait up a spell, Parker. What brings you to this fine town? Profit and... Are all your recruits suicidal?
Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. This is a second chance for us. We're grateful. We ain't looking to buddy up with no one else. This big fool here is enough of a burden. Just enough, okay? Yep. Hey there. So up now.
better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that death. Someone's here, boy. Oh, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fish us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy, just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite! Ma! Oh, what you done? What you done? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. You wasting your time, please. Paul's a drunk and a destitute. There ain't nothing else here.
You think there's more here? That's it! Please go! How you doing, boy?
The hero returns. Nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Arthur! Come up here! things very good muy bien how's it going Sadie what's his new haircut you look like an accountant ah oh, shut up Stole a necklace last week from a lady's house in the mansion district. I don't like San Denis. Scares me. Like a city built on. Built on, I don't know what. Built on. Memories. What place is all about? Memory. Memory. It's built on lies and mud. In all things bad since this country was discovered. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? 
so we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. If anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. He lived. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch, we keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. 
Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Still, keep it still. Yeah, for Christ's sakes, listen to the man before you get us all eaten. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Mr. Arthur, this trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open.
Someone there? Someone there? That must be him. Over here! Up here! Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster! A monster! You okay up there? There's a monster! Where? Master, it nearly ate me! Hey, where'd he go? It's... it's out there! What? A big gator! Biggest I ever saw! Big and nasty! Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here! You must be Jules! Yes! Where is the boat? Over there! I ran! I... fell. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Like I said, the skiff's just over there. The boat's stuck, I think. <laughs> 